Hey folks, Jimmy here, aka Palette the Dead. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another Warhammer Mortal Realms video. As per usual, if you like these videos, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and drop a comment down below. I love hearing back from you guys and it goes a massive way to help the channel out too. So, without further ado, this video, we're just going to go through some of the contents that are going to come with issues of Mortal Realms in the very near future. Now, we're not at the end of Mortal Realms just yet. There's not much left of it to go, though, which is a shame. Now, first off, we already know what's coming out in issue 66, which was the last issue that I did in the last video of this style as well, which is the Dominion of Sigmar statue. We've already had one, but we're getting another. Uh, they're fairly decent, they're not too bad, um, but it's more scenery, so I'm not always the biggest fan of it. Issue 67, though, it has been revealed that we'll get Asteria Soulbright, uh, the Lord Arcanum on the Dracoline uh, model, which is a push fit model, so it's easy build, so no glue required. Very, very nice model as well, a very nice sculpt. Um, looks very unique, very, very cool. I must admit, I, it's one of the favourite little sculpts from the push builds that I've ever seen. Um, really, really cool stuff. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting my hands on that bugger. So, a really, really good one to use. Then, issue 68, we're going to get Blade Guys Revenant. So, we've just had some in a couple of issues ago, and we're going to get some more. So, this should be the other five from the original set. So, because normally, if you bought a retail box, you get ten in there, two sprues. Uh, so, I'm guessing this should be the other sprue. Uh, I may be completely wrong, uh, but I don't believe that I am. Issue 69 is going to give us a new pot of sterling mud, which is, you know, very, very handy for making bases. So a lot of people probably will have re kind of run out of theirs by now after basing all the models we've had so far. And we will also get uh, a pot of technical, which is for Storm Shield, which is a varnish paint, which is pretty, pretty handy. Personally, if you're going to use any of the varnishes, use it on your kind of heroes more than anything get them varnished get them protected because you will run out of this very very soon in all honesty you're not going to have enough to do the entire lot and the entire range that we've had in my opinion issue 70 we get Kurdos Valentian the Craven King this night haunt hero um, is pretty cool pretty unique um, normally this would be about a 28 quid model which is so it's you're getting it for eight quid which is pretty damn cool um he kind of just sits on that throne with the two servants by the side of him a very very nice model i must admit i've already got one of these um that i haven't painted i've owned it for a couple of years and i still haven't painted it. it's part of my pile of shame and it is a very very nice model though i must admit it's pretty cool pretty unique um a lot of different ways you can paint it so you don't have to go down the direct route of how GW paint it or anything like that don't do not worry about that like any of you of the night haunt if you want it to have a theme you can fit in with the rest of your night haunt if you're not too bothered by a theme then paint it up how you go um, this will be fragile though because it's night haunt so it is um, very very delicate and does break very very easily unfortunately but a very nice model to have in your arsenal issue 71 we get some more scenery which could be the last of the scenery i do not know for sure but this will give us uh, the enduring storm vault the griffhound statues so this uh if it's anything from the sprue that is currently available and you can find online this is two griffhound statues um and you just combine them together and away you go have fun with it Pretty decent, pretty cool, uh, not too bad scenery as well, I do like that scenery uh, pieces, goes very well with the altar that we've just had and the bridges, and it also goes with them statues and braziers that we've already had, it doesn't fit in with the, uh, the good old Garden of Moor, though that is the only downside, the good old Sigmarite Mausoleum, it doesn't fit in with that, it's a bit, bit weird, it's a lot chunkier, a lot bigger, bigger. So some of these statues are um, massive in comparison to them. And issue 72, we get Lady Alinda. One definitely worth having. This model is fantastic, a really, really nice sculpt. Um, 
definitely one of the best models out there as well for the Nighthawk range, which is pretty cool. So Lady Elinda and her two handmaidens. Now, I personally, I have one of these. This model is fiddly to build. I'm not going to lie to you, it is a pain in the ass. There are a lot of fiddly bits to it because it's night haunt, of course. Um, and yeah, it's just a pain. It's just a bit difficult to build up. Um, make sure you kind of have fun with it though. Um, and make sure you're very, very careful. You're going to need definitely need some super glue or plastic cement for it um, to get it built up right. But you know, you can have some fun with this one. Uh, and paint it again, paint it how you want. She is for more talk of grief. You can paint her whatever color scheme you want. You do not have to go with GW standard. Entirely up to you. Get her fitting in with your Nighthawk army and she'll look pretty cool. Issue 73, which is the last issue we know for definite what is coming with it, which is Neve Black Talon. So a Stormcast hero. Um, very, very cool hero as well. Knight Zephyros herself. Um, there is novel based on her alone. And uh, yeah, pretty cool model. Two options for it as well. You can put it with a helmet or without the helmet. Personally, I prefer without the helmet. I think it just looks nicer. It looks a bit better, but entirely up to you how you want to build her. But a pretty cool one to have. Um, definitely worth picking up for that one as well, because normally she's 20 quid on her own. So it is a definite, definite good issue to pick up. Now, that is the end of what we know for sure that is coming out and when it's coming. Um, Issue 74 through to 80, um, unknown, in all honesty, not going to lie to you, um, do not know exactly what's coming with them, but if we're going off the original image of what was coming out in that whole range, there are some good bits and pieces, so we not only should we be getting the Celestant Prime, which is a fantastic model, a £50 model as well, which you're going to get, I'm presuming, over the course of two issues, personally. I have a weird sneaking suspicion it always spread out over two issues. Um, I can't see them doing it in one issue um, because the, the bargain for that is is absolutely astronomical if they did it in one issue. Uh, even doing it in two issues is still an absolute fantastic deal. Pick yourselves up a couple of issues if you can. Have a couple of them. Very, very fantastic models. Very, very nice. Very, very fiddly as well. Uh, and a lot to do on there and a lot of little details that you can add to it but you can have a lot of fun with this and then there is also the Mortis engine so the Mortis engine a very cool unit to have free sprues as well so I imagine this will be spread out over two issues as well so we'll probably get part of it and then we'll get the end kind of a uh, little bits and pieces to go with it as well maybe they may put it all in one. Uh, it's a 3750 normally, this model is, um, but a really, really cool one. It does make several different options as well, so you don't have to necessarily make it into the Mortis engine. You can make it into the Coven Throne or a Bloodseeker Palaquin. Um, personally, I like the Mortis engine. The Mortis engine looks really, really nice uh, and has that very ghostly feel, and it will fit in better with the Night Haunt army that you've been building over the last few issues as well though so have a bit of fun with it um, should be really really good though other than that though um, I, there's not really a huge amount more that I can see that we haven't had um, I think there is a little tiny bits here and there so I think we've got a couple of different Night Haunt that we haven't had just yet and a couple of Stormcast that we haven't had just yet as well but other than that there's not really much more that's not really there because there's not enough issues left to fill them. But yeah, once Mortal Realms is done, though, I imagine as soon as that's done, that is when we'll get Imperium Magazine. Um, but who knows? Could be pretty cool, though. But definitely worth keeping an eye out for it. And uh, yeah, that's it from me. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you very, very, very soon. Bye bye now.